Hi, I'm Peter. And my name is Erin. And today, Peter, I have a bit of a problem for us to deal with. All right, bring it on. So I invited one of our friends over to have pizza with us, and I also ordered two pizzas for us to share. But when I got the pizzas and I opened the boxes, I realized that they forgot to cut the pizzas for us. That is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So what's the issue? So I'm kind of wondering, how can we cut these pizzas so that we all have an equal amount of pizza in the end? All right, so we do want to split the pizza evenly. We are, all are equally hungry. Yes, we want to be fair. Okay, so the first thing in math a lot of times is to draw a picture or use an example. And so I have here a couple circles that we'll say are our pizzas. Okay. All right, and so what I want to try to do is to be greedy with our cuts. We want to be efficient. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make the least possible number of cuts. Okay, and how would you start that off? So I'd start using halves because I know if I cut these two pizzas into halves that I'll have four pieces and I can split those pieces between three of us and still have some left over. Okay, so could you show me what that would look like? I can. So I'm going to take this pizza away and replace it with two halves and I'll do the same with this one over here. And so now I have two pizzas cut into half mm -hmm. and you can see that I can split these pizzas three ways and still have one left over. Okay, so then would you say that we need to cut this final half remaining into three pieces? I would say that, and so that is what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to turn that half into three separate pieces, just like that, that then also we can split evenly between the three of us. Okay, so Peter, I have a question. When we had our half, and we had it like so, mm -hmm. Would you say that these were then thirds because we have three pieces? So it is a third of a half, mm -hmm. but because the half is also part of the whole, these are now sixths. Okay, so each of these blue pieces represents one sixth. That's right, because you'd need six of them to get a full pizza. Okay, so let's return them back to our pizzas here. Okay. So great, it looks like we split them all evenly between the three of us. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking instead of saying that we have one half, and one sixth, since we know that each of the halves is made up of those three sixths, could we then also say that we have one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth of a pizza each? Yeah, so what you're doing right there is adding unit fractions. Okay. And unit fractions are fractions with one in the numerator. Mm -hmm. So one sixth four times, right? And something that we can do with unit fractions is create Egyptian fractions. Okay, so tell me a bit more about that. So Egyptian fractions are fractions that are a sum of unique positive unit fractions. Okay. Which means that we aren't allowed to repeat. All right, so when I was repeating one six four times and adding those together, that would not be an Egyptian fraction. That would not fly for the Egyptians, no. Okay, what about how we have it here, which is one half plus one six? That works out just fine. Okay. Well, Peter, thanks so much for helping me split our pizzas evenly amongst the three of us. You're very welcome.